Alright, let's just get right into it. So, the rules... This is pretty much like a Pokemon Nuzlocke, but Cuphead version. Every shot, charm, and super counts as a life. If I equipped Super Art 1, Twin, Heart Charm, and Roundabout and Pea Shooter, and I die, I have to pick one of those four to get rid of, and I can't use it for the rest of the run. Both plain and normal bosses will be counted as deaths, but running guns I won't count because they're so hard. Like, come on guys, this would be five seconds long. After some beautiful audio and my recording software crashing like multiple different times, that happens to the whole run by the way, we passed the tutorial obviously in flying colors as I played this game before. I was going to do normal cuphead with you, but you know, I felt like it'd be too easy so this is a unique challenge. After, you know, doing the basic stuff, EX move, whatnot, coin, free coin, money, money, we exit the thing in 30-ish seconds. After talking to this Apple fella and listening to his s random stuff, we grab his money and we make it to Port Grand Emporium. See, the ideal thing would be to buy a uh, charm, but I bought Roundabout because I like Roundabout. Give give our weapons names in the comments. <laughs> I'll heart whatever I think is cool. We make our way to the very first run and gun stage. I thought I forgot a coin, but you know I didn't. So, the first run and gun stage, obviously, is pretty easy. It's a little hectic, just because it's a run and gun level. So, yeah, after killing stuff, and killing more stuff, and killing some more things, and killing some more stuff, we make it out, well, not unscathed, but, you know, not dead. And the rules only said not to die. Upon so, so easily beating the first level, we go take the secret route over to the second one. Aw, yeah, secret pathway. So, surely this one won't be as bad. It took me 10 minutes to beat this one. The first run went really well, but then I died, and then I died some more, and I died some more. So I'm just gonna skip all the way to the end. So, yeah. Not going too, too great, but... This is why I didn't count run and gun levels, because this is the second easiest one. Also, you can parry those pink butterflies, isn't that crazy? Alright, moving on to first boss. Just kidding, I accidentally meant mausoleum. Yeah, I, f I forgot I did this too, so... You know, Mrs. Chalice, Mrs. DLC lady, she gave me an extra life that I'm probably going to waste within this episode. Only time will tell. Give our new charm a name, guys, what's this super art called? <laughs> uh. Alright, we make our last stop to Port Grimes to pick up some smoke bomb. Uh, oh, and we buy a heart, as well as one last shot, but I forgot to record it, so, well, I did, no, never mind, I didn't, so, st starting our new reign of terror with the root pack, um, things actually don't go real well, the potato was easy as always, as he teaches you how to jump up and down, but the part about pressing two different buttons in different directions got me really confused, I'm at one HP in the final, but I do have a bunch of weapons and charms and stuff and my super art, which is pretty good. If it wouldn't have popped that carrot, I would have died. Because, yeah, super art doesn't, the super art one doesn't give you iframes. That does not help later in the run. So it's a pretty close, close call, but we managed to squeak up the root peg. What does that even mean? Well, we managed to kill them about now. Yeah. These shots might not go too well if I almost died to the first boss. I also forgot to, to, you know, put any charms on for the root pack fight, so that could have been really bad. I decided to switch to Chaser and Roundabout here, because I've never actually used Chaser very much. I wanted to give it a shot for this playthrough, because the whole idea is to push myself to use all the weapons I don't normally use. The Goopy Legrand goes pretty well, obviously. I'm really struggle with this guy, so I don't know what, what the deal is with the root pack. You know, Chaser can hit his large hitbox and his tombstone in his final form. <laughs> I 
basically nauseating but breathing while playing this, and also taunting really, really badly on little goops. We move on to the easiest Inquilile 1 boss. Yep, that's right, cry about it. <laughs> Cagney Carnation, pretty easy for real. Okay, like, I don't know what the issue is. I took damage on the root pack, the tutorial level, but I beat Goopy Lagrande and Cagney Carnation without taking any damage. I took more damage on the root pack than both of them combined because I didn't take any damage, but still, like, point still stands, what the heck? So good. That song is so, so good, but anyway, moving on from the bosses that I didn't think I had much trouble with, two bosses I'm genuinely worried about. Both Hildeberg and the Frog guys are a little bit of a worry. Also, perfect score in Cagney Shange! I went to go talk to King Dice, which didn't really help because he called me, uh, like a, like a bad thing, I don't know. And then I went to go learn how to fly a plane and turn into bombs. Now, I love Hildeberg. I love the music, I love the wow 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 strange transformation thing. But, and I like even the faces, even the faces are cool. But Gosh, is it a hard fight for sh the stupidest reason. I get hit by like every single random little projectile by his minions except for the ones that can be parried. And like, it just, I don't, I don't know why things went so bad. Skipping ahead a little bit, we get to the useless psychology section and I get hit there for some stupid unexplained reason. Anyway, with one health left on the badly telegraphed wheel attack, I'm not feeling too good. I get an extra pair here, narrowly avoid that tornado, and then we almost get to hear the greatest sound effect in the game. If my audio didn't, or you would have been hearing that if I didn't get my audio all messed up. And also, gosh, this moon phase is hard. I forgot the patterns on the lasers, and we have our first death. This was kind of the worst part of the run, because it's our first weapon loss. I think I chose to get rid of either Pea Shooter or Chaser here. I got rid of something, but that's so sad. After she quote unquote killed one of our first shots, we were here with vengeance. I had my nuclear bomb oh no I didn't, uh, oh crap, well I had all of my chompy chompy bomby thingies, whatever they're called, at the ready. Oh, now I do have an- oh my gosh, come on. Well, I bomb her, she starts going into a moon phase, and... Yeah, we, we kill her. Like, there's no way she's getting away with all of this. After going over to the riverboat... Just kidding. We go to talk to this coin guy, and he's like, blah 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 blah, spread my money around, and I know where this coin is. We've seen it for the whole run, it's hiding with this axe guy. But this axe guy won't get out the way. He's like, blah blah blah, here's what I have to say. What are you looking at? Uh, King Dice, kill him. And he's like, oh, what are you looking at? King Dice, throw out whatever. So I go back to the coin guy, if I can get around that thing. So I walk down, I go around, I, I go back to talk to the coin guy. Just kidding, I'm gonna go fight the guys. So, I even went to King Dice to get something inspirational, but no, he only cares about his, like, uh, job, workplace. Alright, we start the fight with Ryu and Ken with the roundabouts. See, they're particularly good for this first phase, because you can hit, like, all these fireflies, and any shots that go past the fireflies will also hit the boss, which is nice. See, this first cycle of fists goes good, just kidding. We get hit, not once, but twice in the same cycle. Getting ready for his attack, I spew out the Mega Milk Milk Laser. I mean, whatever you guys want to call it. And we are almost ready to take them out. With all the flies in the background cheering on, probably me because they might get eaten by the frogs. Ryu, what's his face, tries to roll out on me and I move out the way. He spews these Electro Planet thingies at me. For some reason, he has those Hadoukens looking whatever. Switching to Pea Shooter, for some reason, I don't really know why, I don't think it does any more damage, maybe it does. We get ready for the final phase. I, I'm gonna assume I got rid of Chaser, 
during the uh, Hildeberg phase because I would rather have roundabout. Just kidding, it doesn't give you iframes. And I meant pea shooter, so now we get rid of pea shooter. So we click retry, do what not, whatever, and prepare for the next fight. We reach the second phase and don't take any damage, just kidding, we do. And there's a point in here. Yeah, I switched I switched to pea shooter right there because I forgot to do equip it. But I don't think that saved us the run or anything. So it doesn't really count. Cry about it in the comments. So we trying to deal with this frog team. They go into the slot machine form and spew out the coins. I used to never be able to dodge these coins, but now I'm doing alright. Probably because I've played this game. We get the annoying Bull, a devil, fire, whatever, horn attack. And I remember that um, I de equipped it my super because I guess I got rid of that. Oh, I think I did. I skip a fight or something. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, well, now I don't have the super anyway. So now we're stuck with just roundabout, the chart charm, and the smoke dash, which is not looking good considering the next super we get is after two more bosses, not including this one. And the next bit of money we get is after one more boss. So, uh, yeah, that's not looking too good. First few deaths of the run times the charm. So after really avoiding these without doing, like, too much bad platforming. Like, look how clean that was. Sheesh. After doing all that, that's why I would rather have Roundabout. Roundabout is just come and clutch in so many different boss fights. Just a really good thing. So, we roll stupid devil horn thing again. Hit him with a super. Jump, jump, go, jump, 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 under. He's dead. There's no way we're losing to that guy after he murdered like half of our quote unquote team. I'm the devil's right hand. Oh, uh, I'm Mr. Nice. I'm the devil's right hand man. I'm the devil's right hand man. Hey, come on, bring him to the king. I said you were sleep. And I know you guys don't mess with me. Don't mess with King Dash, 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 Give <laughs> those contracts pronto. Don't you mess with me. Don't mess with King Don't mess with King Don't mess with me. Man, wait a second. If King Dice went down here, then. And who's singing? Subscribe if you enjoyed this or watch it to the end. I know you're there. Hi.